my dad. I've been having problems with macular degeneration and glaucoma. And so he decided he wanted to go off on his own and go see this optometrist. And he gave him some medicine. And the next thing I know, his eyes were just like bloodshot red. And I said, Daddy, what's wrong with your eyes? I really started to get really concerned. A vision is something that I have realized during all my years in medicine that people are the most scared from losing it. Nobody can stand going blind, can even think about it. And so immediately I called SLU, they got them right in. Vitreo retinal surgery is actually one of the most complex surgical specialties. It's like the film in the camera. The retina takes the image that you see, that you and I see, and converts it via electrical impulses to an image for the brain. But if the retina is not working, everything else fails. Dr. Peary, bless her heart, was his, his doctor, and she, she just took over and she took care of my dad as if he was her own. So when I saw him first time, he had several things together. Uh, his vision was slightly decreased. He had significant inflammation in front part of the eye. He had history of glaucoma, was using some eye drops. Some of that inflammation of the eye surface I could see is the side effect of the eye drops he's using. But he also had extensive intraocular inflammation, which we didn't know why, because it was the first time it was being documented. It was not in his previous records. And then on a more comprehensive exam of his eye, it looked like he also had some retina problems in which looked like to be a vein occlusion in back of his eye. So I had to have a detailed conversation with him that he didn't have just one thing and we had to go one step at a time and work with all these and at the same time work for that inflammation to see what is causing that inflammation. She discovered that he had an autoimmune uh, condition in his eye that is called uveitis. There's a lot of time that we don't really know why inflammation happens. But there are initially when we see a patient 30-40% of time, we can find some underlying disease in the body, most of the time without showing any symptoms and signs, but causes the inflammation in the eye. So we have to look for that underlying and dig down and find it, which requires extensive history taking from the patient, checking their review of system, their exposures, even their job, traveling, if they're exposed to any, with people with infectious disease, and also some kind of autoimmune disorders which might cause inflammation in the eye. So it is something that really requires a connection of the eye with the, with the whole medicine in the body. He has some other conditions. I don't know if any of them are connected, but Perhaps they, they may, and if they are, it's, you know, it's a good score for Dr. Peary. We switched his eye drops, referred him to our glaucoma specialist. In the meantime that I ordered the lab work for uh, looking for his underlying inflammation, I had to start him on topical corticosteroid eye drops as well to see if there is any response and see him back in a week while waiting for the lab work. Thankfully, in a week, he dramatically improved, and that's um, one of the good things about one of the uveitis problems in the eye, which is probably caused by a disease called sarcoidosis. Sometimes they don't have symptoms in the body, they might have only in the eye, and they have usually a dramatic response to treatment. His eyes like immediately turned around like really fast, and he's doing so much better. His eyes are so much better. His, all his infectious workup thankfully came back negative and I kept watching him. Our glaucoma specialist watched him for his pressure and at some point I was going to do um, an imaging which we call fluorescein angiography. It's kind of like a dye test to evaluate the vessels in the retina to see where the leakage or swelling comes from. But on the day that I wanted to do that, his swelling also was resolved. That means that all that swelling in the retina also was from this mild inflammation and responded to treatment. Since then, thankfully, he has been quiet. I have been watching him. 
and his vision actually has improved to a level that he was able to get his driver's license last week. And he's um, able to drive, his glaucoma is not very severe, so he can drive.